my gosh. Funny, I never thought about using my tripod like a, a selfie stick. But anyway, back at the park with Simon. I'm here to redeem myself after that terrible train with SOS video that I made last time. That was just absolutely bad. And the funny thing is, it's windy again. So I guess the, I guess Mother Nature is trying to test me this time. Like, do you have what it takes to withstand this wind? Trust me, I'm gonna try to get this video done. I'm gonna show you guys the core stuff that I do. I'm gonna show you guys the core stuff that I do. Because I don't, when I train core, I don't do it in sets and reps and stuff like that necessarily. I mostly just train calisthenics moves because we all know calisthenics is, is freaking hard when it comes to training your core, right? Doing human flags, handstands, all these other stuff, right? So basically the way I train core is by just doing calisthenics. And I'm gonna show you guys what I do, okay? So I think that's it right now. There was something else I wanted to talk to you guys about, but I'll probably think about it later. Let's get into the workout. You already know I have to start off with the skipping rope. Now, I'm actually really loving the jump rope. Like, look at my face. I'm smiling throughout most of this. Look at it. Look at it. Look at me. Look at me. Yeah! Jump rope! Honestly, I think it's one of the best ways to warm up. And I encourage all of you guys to try it out. Like, I'm still having a tough time learning it, but I am still having a fun time doing it. It's funny, lately I've been slacking off and, you know, I've been feeling pretty unmotivated to train because I guess, you know, the stress has been wearing down on me lately, but, you know, I'm starting to feel a lot better. And as soon as I get outside, I actually feel a lot more pumped to start training. So, yeah, like, I'm just, I have to start getting back outside, man. I have to start, I have to stop slacking and, you know, get my shits together. So, uh, guys, come on, just try to stay disciplined with me. I know I've been slacking, but don't follow my footsteps. But at least I don't lose my gains. Like when I when I come back to train, I can still do my handstands and everything. So I'm pretty I'm pretty excited for that. But either way, I'm still slacking and I have to really just get my shit together, okay? So a few of you guys always ask me, how do I learn my handstands? How do I get better at it? How do I train for it? And you guys ask for tutorials. Now I'm not at the level to make a tutorial yet, but this is one thing that I do. I basically use this to warm up and to train my core before I actually practice the handstand freestanding. Okay, so try this out. Okay, I'm going for it again, so wish my camera luck. It better not drop. You see, so this was basically the clip that I wanted to record last time my camera fell. But, now that I'm doing it here, I was kind of paranoid, I'm like, yo, it better not drop, it better not drop, so I wasn't able to focus that much, but look at how I, look how I tightened my core right there, you see how I was kind of bending at the back, and then I tightened my core, and I was able to pump out one handstand push-up. This is basically how I train, guys, it's for those of you guys who are always wondering. Now, I started getting a little bit tired because I don't show you guys my entire workout, like, I don't show you guys every single attempt that I do, so my, my shoulders were getting a little bit tired, and I hate doing handstands on soft surfaces, but it's the best place to train in my area. Like, I could do it on the concrete, which I did try to show you guys, but man, you guys will see how bad I failed. But again, it's because when I was doing my warm-up, I was doing it, and I, I did it for a long period of time, and my shoulders got tired and whatnot. So don't warm up too much until the point that you burn out. But at least I did pretty good today. Dang. Yo, my shoulders are actually tired. Like, I could do handstands a lot better than that, but, like, my my shoulders, yo, my shoulders are tired. Another thing, too, is the, the ground that I was just doing, this ground right here, is pretty soft. So, for me, at least, it's harder to do handstands on soft surfaces, like mats and stuff. But when it's on the hard ground, like concrete, I'll even show you guys. It's a bit easier to do handstands. So, let me show you guys right now. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I was so contemplating taking out this clip, but I said, you know what, I'm gonna show you guys my fails. Because, trust me guys, I am really good at doing handstands, but just I was just too tired. My core wouldn't lock in, and I kept bending at the back, which is what I was trying to tell you guys earlier. Do not bend at the back. Okay, so that was a fail, but the thing is, I'm not, I'm not lying. It is easier to do on a harder surface, but my core was giving in. My core was totally giving in. I couldn't even lock it in, so... I, Yo, I have to, I have to get my conditioning back up. 
now I'm kind of upset because last year when I was training like every day, I was getting so much better at doing human flags, but then I started slacking off. But look, I'm still holding it pretty well with one leg out and I'm almost parallel to the ground, which is how I pretty much train because every time I put two legs out, it kills me. So basically guys, when you're trying to do the, when you're trying to do human flag, try with one leg out or try to keep your feet all the way up in the air. Look at that. That's nice right there, but I, I failed, but I'm getting better. I'm getting better. The human flag is not easy at all. If I was training it a lot more though, I would have had it by now, but I'm stupid. I'm stupid. But whatever, I have my whole life to learn the human flag. I ain't in no rush. One thing I've been noticing about myself is that, or about the videos I make is that, it's just recently I started making I started making some type of videos that weren't always related to fitness. And remember I told you guys, well, older subscribers will probably remember, but I said that strength over size, the strength doesn't just mean physical strength, but emotional, mental, and all that other stuff. And I feel like a lot of my videos are just physical strength. Training with SOS, the tutorials, workout videos, all of that. And I want to start moving towards things, or at least adding videos that have to deal with life in general because trust me physical strength is is not just the only thing that that matters in our lives you get what i'm saying so that's why i've been showing a lot of my my journey like my vlog type videos about you know my job or getting a job and stuff like that because you guys find it inspirational to see me go from not having much to possibly going to have uh possibly going to having uh damn what the hell am i saying going from not having much and then going to having something. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes more sense. Ah, tongue twister. Anyway, I feel like that actually hits home to you guys. It's home for you guys more than than me just working out. So I want to start talking about more stuff like that. You know, a lot. Of, some people have been asking me to talk about girls and stuff, which I don't mind talking about. I'm not a freaking expert, but hey. I can still speak on it and you know help some of you guys out or just give you guys my experiences so yeah I feel like I want to move more onto stuff like that of course keep the physical stuff heck even add more physical stuff by being with calisthenics it's still coming but I'm not in any rush I have to make sure I get a job make sure I get an income so I can afford the food and yeah so I just want to say that to you guys I just want to you know make that clear see you look at me I'm, I'm so paranoid I'm just looking at the camera I'm like please do not drop, do not drop. I'm just looking, I'm like, yo, come on, bro, don't drop. But anyway, I, I ended it off with some with some levers. I did a back lever first, and my back lever is still pretty solid. I'm able to hold it parallel to the ground. Look at that, look at that. Look at my forearms too. You see, you see how my forearms are just like, the muscles are rippling out right now? Because this is how I train for my grip strength. Like, I don't have to do deadlifts and stuff. Doing back levers are really good, or doing levers in general are really good for your, your grip strength. And also, for those of you guys who really want to train your abs, do this. You're really going to feel it in your abs. I can't do a full front lever a full front lever yet, but I'm working towards it. Doing it with one leg first is always the best way. That's how I did it with the back lever, and that's how I'm going to be doing it with the front lever. Also, I'm trying to keep my, my hips at a 90 degree angle for as long as possible to help my core for the front lever. Also, for this, I'm not doing this anymore. I hate doing L-sits. It, it hurts my triceps. It's just not even worth it. But yeah, that's basically what I did for today. Okay, guys, so I hope I redeemed myself with that one. That has to be a lot better than the, the last train with SOS video that I made. But anyway, I gotta try to get outside a lot more. I really have to. I, pretty, I, I enjoyed this. I enjoyed it. I kind of felt that passion for it again. You know, I just been locked up inside my house, kind of, you know, mildly depressed over, you know, not having my job, you know, uh, and you know, my other life stuff. But I feel like things are coming around. Two more days until I find out if I get this job. And if I get it, oh man, I'm gonna be so happy. My time will be a lot more, uh, let's say, occupied. So I'm sure I'll be able to get videos out. I, apparently I'm gonna have to wake up early. Wake up probably like at four o'clock, train clients at six probably till two or something and I'm, I'm gonna try to figure out how to keep making more videos but until the time comes I'm gonna try to pump out as many videos as I can uh, try to keep you guys in the loop and I just thank you guys for for supporting for so long so yeah I hope you guys like the video and I hope you guys actually like the video thumbs that up baby and I'll talk to y'all next time done <laughs>